Good morning, guys. It's Lori from Passionate Penny Pincher, and I think we're gonna have such a fun day today. I hope you're watching. Let me tell you, first of all, the kimono I'm wearing is actually on sale at Jane today for $15.99. So if you would like it, sweat or click the link right above me, and it's a, just a super cute little kimono. And it's I'm wearing a medium if you're interested in it. We are gonna make these amazing resurrection cinnamon rolls. They are so fun and easy. They're a great little story for your kids. And then we're gonna decorate a table while we're waiting for these to bake. So it's gonna be a fun day. So as you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Tell me where you're at this morning. Tell me if you are doing something fun this weekend. I have a slumber party tonight, which is why we're gonna be doing the table. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing a slumber party for no money. I'm not going to the store to buy anything, which is kind of fun. Um, and then we're gonna make these rolls. So, so all you need for the rolls is some crescent rolls. I'm using cheap, plain old, cheap, cheap, cheap rolls from Kroger. Then you need two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, um, some marshmallows, and a little butter. So, good morning, good morning. So glad to see you guys. Good morning, Beth, you guys. Good morning. Okay, also guys, if you will hit the share this button, hit the share this button, we will give someone who enter, hits the share this button a $25 Amazon gift card. So hit the share this button. I'm gonna show you this jacket real fast so you can see it. And then I'm gonna, you won't be able to see it in a second once I turn the camera down. So there it is. Y'all think it's pretty cute? $15.99, great deal over at Jane. I'm wearing a medium. I think if you're smaller, go for a small. I could probably do a small on this one. The medium's great. Um, I typically wear a size six on top. So there that helps. Hope. Oh, good morning. Oh, you're going to the circus and a birthday party. I am so excited. It's not even seven there in California. So glad to see you. Good morning in St. Charles, Missouri. Okay, are y'all ready to see this? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some butter and we're gonna go ahead and melt the butter real fast. This is super easy. And so this is like one of those great recipes that tastes good, but is also a fun object lesson. And I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. We're gonna melt that. Okay, so while that's melting, I'm gonna to mix together. I've got a two tablespoons of sugar, and I'm gonna mix them with two tablespoons of cinnamon. So we're gonna give this a quick mix. So simple, you guys. This is one of those like so ridiculously easy recipes. Anybody else just love cinnamon sugar? You guys, there's the cinnamon sugar. Doesn't that just make you happy this morning? Thank you for sharing, Amber. Thank you, Christy, for sharing. You're going to church this morning. I love that. Okay, now we're gonna take eight marshmallows. I have also used peeps. And what I love about the story is it's a great object lesson to do with your kids. So share this with someone who might enjoy doing it with their family too. This is such a great little kids recipe. Um, but it's a good reminder to all of us, and it tastes yummy, so that's why I always love recipes like this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is basically you have the, this represents the body of Christ when you do this, okay? So this has kind of got a little Christian object message for Easter. What you're gonna do is the butter is gonna represent the oils that he was wrapped in, and then the spices also represent the spices that he was put in, and then this, represents the tomb and so what happens when you make them is that the when they you put the marshmallow in but it totally goes away so it's kind of cool to see how it, it's the empty it's the empty grave right so we're gonna dip it in our butter we're gonna dip in our sugar and then we're gonna put it right there that's it now I like I've done this before without putting them in muffin tins I went ahead and I sprayed my muffin tins. So I've got sprayed, can y'all see those? What can I move those so you can see those? So these are sprayed. What I do is I go ahead and spray the muffins and I do put them in a muffin tin because they tend to get messy. I also bake them with a baking sheet underneath them, but you wanna kind of pinch off these seals. And what's gonna happen is when they go to eat them, the marshmallow will be gone and it'll disappear because it turns to goo. And so it's just like Christ on Easter morning was not found in the tomb. So it's a great little story, um, a fun little just treat that you can do with your kids at Easter. It also tastes super yummy. Um, and then while we're waiting for these to bake, it's my daughter's birthday was yesterday. I kind of sunk it up as a mom for her yesterday. I was not doing what I needed to be doing. I worked too long and I just didn't do awesome as a mom. So tonight her friends are coming over and I'm redeeming myself, but I didn't want to, I don't have any time to go shopping today. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing to make up her birthday. 
really, really simple without spending any money. Um, and a lot of things you can just get from the Dollar Tree, which is always my favorite way to go. Hey, Sheila, good morning. Thank you, Renee, for sharing. Hi, Diane. Good morning. Good morning, Rosemary. Okay, so how many of you guys have made this? And what is your favorite thing to make on Easter morning? Um, do you have a special thing that you like to make on Easter morning or for Easter dinner? Our must thing, I love ham. I love green bean casserole. I love me a good spinach salad, but y'all, I love that every single day of the week, so that's not really a fair thing. What thing do you love? I love some Paula Deen's banana pudding. In fact, I haven't thought about that. I think that's what I'm gonna make this year. I love broccoli casserole, hash brown casserole, gourmet potatoes, all the things. We actually have on the Passionate Penny Pincher site a menu plan for Easter, so we need to go ahead and give that to you guys. We'll see if we can't hunt that down, and I'll put it, I'll have um, Nicole stick that in the comments for me. Thank you, Nicole, if you heard me and you're like, Laurie, I'm gonna get that. Good morning, Nancy. You have made these, thanks for the reminder. Oh, I'm so glad you're gonna make them. These are so easy, and I'm gonna tell you, my crescent rolls sat out for a bit this morning, so they're kind of, um, y'all can see, they're kind of a mess. It doesn't matter. That's the thing, I love recipes that are so easy. Oh, deviled eggs, oh my gosh. I love deviled eggs. My mother-in-law made the best deviled eggs, and she just now has, bless her, really, really horrible dementia. I went to see her last week, and it's, she is pitiful, and one thing I wish we had figured out, when she started to go downhill, she and I worked on making the deviled eggs so that I could write them down in a recipe. We never got it quite perfectly, and she really made the best deviled egg you've ever eaten in your life, and I wish I had that recipe. So if you have somebody who's getting older and you think may not be able to always give you the recipes, write those recipes down. Okay, so I'm gonna take these, y'all. Hang on just a second, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna pop these in the oven. If anybody happens to be on and can get a screenshot of that really fast, can somebody screenshot that for me? Because I'm actually writing a blog post from the pictures here. So if you're able to do that, I would sure appreciate if someone could take that. I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I do have sheets underneath because if this goo goes everywhere, I will have a big mess. And I do not want a mess. So make sure I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing this. Y'all wanna come see? This is how my oven looks right now. It's covered in pans underneath because I don't want to mess those up. So we're going to leave those on for 15 minutes. They probably won't even be that long. I'm actually going to switch it to timer 13 minutes. And now, for any of you guys who are interested in my kimono, I'm going to show you guys the kimono really fast. And then here's the kimono, $15.99, great little deal. Click the link in the video. I just happened to be wearing it today and thought, ooh, and when I saw it was on sale, I was like, oh, I'll let them know about that. Okay, who wants to go see my Dollar Tree table? So my daughter turned 12 yesterday. She's having a slumber party. Guys, I'm just gonna be real honest, like probably more honest than I need to be because I don't know that I know any of y'all in real life, so I feel like I can just be super honest with you guys. Um, birthday parties, as a mom, watching your kid not so sure about things and struggle through life, in middle school snakes. So yesterday she had not the most awesome day and I was not the most awesome mom. She has a few friends coming over tonight, um, but not as many as she'd hoped. So she's kind of bummed. I'm trying to revive. It's plenty of girls. She is fine, but I want to make it really happy for her because everybody loves to have a happy birthday. So if you have a kiddo who's in middle school and you're like, oh my gosh, my kid's the only one who isn't having awesomeness, you guys, your kid is not the only one. My kid's right there with you. Um, middle school stinks, that's what I told her. I said the next three years of your life are crummy. That's just the way they are. So how many of you guys are middle schoolers know what I'm talking about today? Um, anyways, this is an old sheet. She does have some girls coming over. We are decorating a cake. She made the cutest cake in the world. Um, this kimono gets stuck on things. This is just an old um, sheet that I have that I'm covering the table with. Okay, so this is, this is my super cheap, I refuse to go to the store today, so I'm reusing what I have to make a cute birthday table for her. And part of it was that her mama didn't take care of doing this for her yesterday, so I didn't make her feel like it was special, which was my fault. So there's the tablecloth we're using. Can y'all see that? You're making you dizzy, I'm sorry. Sorry, middle guys, y'all, if you have middle schoolers, we just have to love on them and pray for them. That's what I decided. In fact, I decided yesterday, she and I talked, I heard this, I heard Bob Goff speak and he said, 
live your life like a beautiful reflection of any of the bad stuff that happens. And so she and I talked about that and said, you know, we're just going to be a beautiful reflection of the good days and the bad days. And some days it's good days and some days it's bad days. But we can reflect beautifully no matter what God hands us. We'll be okay. Anyway, sorry, y'all. I'm just telling the middle school mamas, y'all are not alone. Okay, so this is a Dollar Tree tablecloth. Nothing fancy here. I'm going to show you how we're going to make it look fancy. Like I said, without going to the store, this was actually one I had left over for my older daughter's birthday. So I was like, ooh, let me make that work. And then I always keep on hand. And... This is very hard to do while we're online. Sorry, guys. Um, the next thing I'm going to have is I have a roll of paper, and this is just brown, plain paper. Now, you can do a couple different things. You can use something like this. I use it because it always looks cute and it matches anything. This is just brown paper that I snagged at the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, brown paper from the Dollar Tree. And you could also, let me show you the other one. I almost was gonna do this one, but I feel like that's a lot. This is really cute wrapping paper. This one, this wrapping paper is from um, TJ Maxx, but I think the brown's gonna work fine with what she has. And I wish I could scoot it back so you guys could see just a little better. Can y'all kind of see what's going on? Oh, somebody just said middle school is the worst with an autistic daughter. I can't even imagine because middle school just speaks. Like I just gone through the season of just saying, this is just a bad season. But we are going to make a fun party because no matter what, we can make the best of it. Okay, so this is just brown raisin paper now. But I think I actually rolled up from another party, which worked great. Okay, so now what we're going to do, these are all things we already had. I'm so excited. I was sitting there this morning and I thought, I don't have any plates. And then I thought, you have plain white, paper, white plates. You don't have to go buy paper plates just because it's a birthday. So we're using plain plates and they're making, they're actually decorating um, cupcakes. So it's really gonna be fun. And they, so I figured they just need a big plate and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to run to the store to get paper plates. And I was like, no, you can wash plates. You have dishwashing soap. These are the cute leftover llamas from another child's birthday. I know we're giving her leftover llamas, but how cute are those? Those were from Target. Thank you, Target. I love those. We're going to pop those down. And this is all super easy. Stuff that we had on hand. Hang on, it gets better. Okay. These are mason jars. Anybody else love a good mason jar? I found in my closet. Y'all, I seriously went through all of my stuff this morning. And I was like, what else can I find? These are, hang on, we've got more, hang on. These are my favorite. I bought these for a tea party when my girls were tiny. And when I started looking at them, y'all look how cute those are together. I don't have to buy anything. Look, my girl is not gonna notice any of this. How fun is this? Okay, so we have this. Y'all, are you seeing the cuteness going on here? And then we have this plate. And y'all have got to see her cake. Let me just show you the cake. Can I show you the cake? Actually, I'm not gonna show you the cake yet because I'm a little worried about it breaking. I have these cute straws for the mason jars. So we're gonna stick those in. And these were, I think, from Michael's on clearance. Great little thing to find on clearance because they make things look cute, especially for birthdays. Um, I wish you guys could see it better. I feel like you can't see it as well as I wish you could. Um, how could I? I don't know how to stick this out. Let's see if I can get you a little bit better view here. Hang on, y'all. Let me scoot. Because I want you to be able to see the full thing. So just, can y'all kind of see what's going on over here? Let me scoot this out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, this is just an old thing that I'll use for different colored frostings because they're gonna be decorating cupcakes. Then, oh, oh, you guys. Look, I was gonna go, then I was like, well, you have to go buy something because you need to go buy candles. You guys, in my closet drawer, if you go to um, Hobby, Hobby Lobby, buy this for every birthday because if you have a girl in your home, you can reuse it every birthday. You'll buy it once, it's adorable. And then I had leftover candles, so I don't even have to buy the candles. Okay, hang on. 
But wait, there's more. Hang on. Oh, 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 and I didn't even get this stuff out yet. So I told you guys we're gonna be de doing decorating for her birthday. So I'm gonna set out this tray, which is just a tray I already have, um, and probably, I'm just gonna do it like this, so they can kind of showcase their cute stuff. And then, she found these, look at these. You guys, don't pay for these. This was a mistake. We bought these baking cups. Some, she watches this Rosanna Pansino. I don't know who this lady is. On YouTube, she was like, Mom, I have to have our stuff. So this was her one big splurge with these things. And I'll set those out. And then we have, what else? Just a bunch of little things that I will add. We have just some decorating things that they can make their cupcakes with. Cute little, look at those. Those were from Michael's, so cute. Okay, so now, hang on, y'all gotta see the cake. So I'm gonna just set everything around the table so they can do it, but you just have to see the cake. So this is the cake Reagan made. Um, I am, we haven't looked at it in two days. I'm gonna open it for you guys and then I've gotta put it back for her. It's in pretty good shape considering. I was a little worried. Hang on. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best ever. She is gonna be so happy when she comes home from school today. You guys, look at this cake. This is the cake! She made it all by herself. I love this. Is Rosanna the best? Okay, I gotta watch her. Okay, so this is her first ever fondant cake. You guys, look how happy that makes that table look. Can you guys see it? Oh my goodness, I just love it. That makes me crazy happy. Okay, I love that. Okay, so what else do we have? We have the fondants. So we got all the stuff to make all the fondant things. So we're just gonna set them out. Super easy birthday, like y'all. This we did this in ten minutes, right here, as we're waiting for those resurrection rolls to open. You guys, they're gonna have the best little time making their cupcakes. She's gonna feel like a rock star. I didn't have to go back out to the store. It totally looks darling. Um, whoever this, y'all said y'all know this Rosanna person, Rosanna, Rosanna, whoever you are, you're apparently a rock star, which is awesome. Then we did find some bags, so she has a few things. Isn't the cake cute? You girls love Rosanna. I've gotta figure, is it Ros Rosanna, Rosanna? I need to find out who this girl is because she's a rock star for sure. So anyways, you guys can see, this is so simple. I really didn't do anything that I didn't have. We're gonna order pizza, we're gonna decorate cupcakes, they're gonna watch a movie. Done, done. Y'all wanna turn around so you can see it? She's gonna be so happy. You love the cake, what a fun night for the girls. You need colored paper punch holes. Oh, that's a great idea, I could totally do that. Okay, can y'all, I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can really see it. Hang on just a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, y'all, and it's gonna be weird on me. Let's see if I can get this so that it's the right way. Hang on, I'm gonna flip it maybe if it lets me, but it's not gonna let me flip. Okay, you guys, so I didn't spend well, obviously I spent on the cake supplies. So other than the cake supplies, I didn't go out and buy anything to decorate. I think so often we think we have to get all the stuff. And honestly, if these, like most of these things I've purchased over the years and they're so darn cute. And I think they're just gonna have the best of time. And this is kind of sloppy right now. So y'all know that I'm gonna fluff it a wee bit better, but I think it's so super fun. Um, I'll definitely get this confetti. I love that idea, um, except that I hate a mess. So maybe not. <laughs> Um, they're gonna have so much fun and I'm just y'all just pray for her that she has a sweet little night And if you have a middle schooler middle school is just Hard. Um, yeah, so that cake was her very first cake So maybe I do have a first a future cake maker. I just think it's so fun and y'all are so sweet you guys Thank you so much for your kind words of encouragement. Okay, let's go take a peek at the oven and see Oh the resurrection rolls look at that y'all look at our awesome timing over here. Here we go. Let's count them down right there that's backwards, but it's 37 seconds. I am so excited about her little birthday. Okay, I'm gonna put this back up here, turn this around so we can open everything else out. Y'all got to see the cute birthday cake. I will decorate it a little bit more. Oh my goodness, Lydia, we would have so much fun, you guys. I love when you guys hop on and tell me that. I feel so lucky to give you. Okay, hang on, here we go, come back. I'll show you the kimono one more time before we start trying out the cinnamon rolls. Pink lemonade, Kim, pink le Do I have pink lemonade? Kim, thank you. I was already thinking about what I was gonna put in those cups. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, here's what I got. Here's, you're right, I'm not going to the store to buy this stuff. 
I have yellow lemonade and I have red Kool-Aid. So thank you, Kim. What a great idea. Yeah, we are totally going to do that. I'm leaving cake out. No, Rosa, as soon as we're done, I'm putting that cake back and hiding it because we do not need it to break. So this is the kimono for anybody interested. I think it's darling. Let's get the rose rolls out. I'm having them for breakfast this morning. Super excited about them. Oh, y'all right here. This is awesome. Hang on. Let me get a thing to put them on. Oh, you guys. I did 10 minutes. For me, my thing is a little bit tight. So yeah, the kimono would get stuck in the wheelchair. Okay, Bridget, the kimono is getting stuck on, stuck on everything. I will say it might not be the best thing <laughs> in that position. I think it would be hard in a wheelchair for sure. It is really cute though, and it would probably look darling on you. They would look really, really cute on you. Okay, here's the rolls, guys. That's all it is. Like, how easy was that? Hang on, let me turn this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and open one. Here we go. Um, so what happens when you go to open them, obviously this marshmallow just turns to lovely goo, right? We'll put a link in the video and I will send, if you're on my email list, I will send a link out to this recipe today. Watch what happens. I'm hoping I let them bake long enough. We'll see. There we go. So you open the tomb and there's no marshmallow. Don't you love that? Isn't that so, I just think it's so Fun. I will put a recipe, I'll send it out via email, and then it is also, we will um, put the link in the comment for the recipe. So simple. They, were, they are super hard. Isn't that fun, you guys? So how many of you guys are going to make these? I just love them. I think they're fantastic. The girls are making cupcakes. Yes, the girls are going to make the cupcakes and have the pizza. We're going to buy pizza. We're ordering pizza because that's all I got. Okay, you guys, I guess I'm going to be having confetti. I don't even want to deal with the confetti, you guys. Oh, I will show you one more thing. But like I said, this is fun. And I told you guys yesterday, I'm going to say this one more for any, okay, for anybody who's watching now, like I do the video fast to try to get through everything. But I just want to talk to you moms out there who do have little ones at home, especially, I guess, I'm speaking to the mamas of middle school girls right now. So if you are a mama of a middle school girl, first, the thing that I messed up on yesterday, yesterday was her real birthday. I was busy with work. I knew that this was today. I wasn't super worried about it. Y'all, I didn't put up a sign in the house. I didn't do, I mean, we gave her a couple gifts. She had soccer practice. We ran out to Culver's because that's what she wanted for dinner. So I said, you pick dinner, we'll go to Culver's. I didn't put up the birthday signs. I didn't spend extra time with her. I did all the things wrong as a mom. Like I failed. I just failed. I was getting up this morning and I was just sick. I thought, you know what? She only turns 12 once and you ruined that. Like you stunk it up. I stunk it up. So today I was like, I am all in girl. You are having a good day. I'm going to be on it. So I put the sign up and I'm going to show you it really fast, but I just want you to know if you have a middle school girl, my pastor's wife told me the best thing. And she said, they are going to hop on the roller coaster when they get on the roller coaster, because that's all they're going to do for the next like five years is they're going to be on this roller coaster. You don't climb on with them. So yesterday when she came home, sad about some stuff that had happened in school and just not great, I was like, okay, I can hop on the roller coaster with her and be sad, or I can talk about all the great things that have happened. I should have also been an awesome mom and rocked my mom job, and I didn't do that. But I think we have to remember not to hop on with them on the roller coaster. And I just want you to know, I know I saw a friend say, once your kids go to middle school, like people on Facebook stop talking about their kids. Nobody, because all of a sudden it's different. It's different than when they're babies and it's funny to talk about their poop because it's, you're not going to talk about your kid's poop. I mean, you're just not once they're in middle school. Your kids don't want you to show their pictures, which is fine, but it changes. So if you're feeling like you have a middle schooler and you're just in a hard season with that, I just want to like give you a virtual hug, tell you you're not alone, tell you it gets easier because on the other side of that, I also have a sweet 18 year old who calls me every day from college, which is like the best. When your boy calls every day, you feel like you kind of run at momming. My struggles, I have to remember, I'm still a mom to her and some days because she's so much younger than my others, I forget to do well with her. So just know you're not alone. Anyways, that's all I'll say about that. I didn't mean to talk that long. Yeah, seventh grade is the hardest. Your children need them for the class when she was in third grade. Yeah, it's hard. Middle school kids are hard, um, but they're also awesome. So, so this morning, I even forgot to put up her birthday signs. So today I have the birthday signs up and all this is, again, something that I got years ago. It says celebrate, but that's backwards. Um, so I got all this stuff out for her birthday. I tidied everything up. I'm gonna finish this so that it looks the way that I want it to. 
Isn't that so much better? She should have walked down yesterday and she should have known it was all about her and I didn't do it well. So anyways, there you go. We're not going to hop on the roller coaster. Lizzie, don't even tell me adult kids are harder. I cannot even imagine because I'm dying right now. Um, oh, thank you. You said it when we tried on the clothes together. That was with my middle daughter who is past the season of middle school. Like this is my youngest one. So anyways, you guys know you're not alone. Make yourself do some fun, something fun this weekend for your family. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to work some today, and then once she's home, I'm done. Did you change your letter board? Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. Bridget. So this is, this is what Reagan has had, and we've forgotten to say it's only been, yeah, we're down to, I need to say zero days. We need to say zero to her birthday. Yeah. Anyways, you guys have an amazing day. I love having you here. Oh, Raina, it's your first time here. I am tickled that you are here, and I appreciate you so much. Tammy, I will show you real fast one more time in the link. This top is from Jane. It's on sale for $15.95 today. Make sure I don't show you anything. It's really, really cute. Y'all should snag it. If you want to cover your love handles, it's kind of awesome because you can't see any flab underneath, which is fantastic. Um, I'll show you this. Oh, hang on. And then I'm hopping off for real. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go over to Instagram and do some stuff there. You guys have a fantastic day, and I am so thankful for you. Thank you for being such great cheerleaders. Y'all are awesome. I need to say it's Reagan's day. I can say that, and it'll be easy. Thank you. I'll say that. Y'all have an awesome day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.